good morning. I'm Erica Manalo and we're going to perform a complete obstetrical history. So first is we greet the patient and introduce ourselves to the patient and then explain the purpose of the interview. So good morning ma'am. Um, I'm Erica, a fourth year medical student and I'm going to ask you several questions about your past and current medical condition. Is it okay po that I'll be also um, asking you questions like sensitive topics like your sexual history? Is it okay po? And then after that, if the, the patient says yes, then also assure her that all the, the results will be confidential to both of you only. Okay, so let's proceed. So first is ask for the general date of the patient. So first, ask for the name, age, date of birth, marital status, religion, and residence. Then ask if it is uh, your first time to have um, admission or first time to have a prenatal consult. So ask. And then ask um, what is the reason for consult for your chief complaint. And then after that, you proceed now to your history of present illness. So the patient will not be lost if you continue to pass medical history. So now proceed to your um, um, history of present illness. So with that, so if the patient says to you that it is her fifth prenatal consult, then ask for your prenatal checkup. So on the first prenatal checkup, ma'am, so what are your symptoms? Um, how did you know that you are pregnant? So she may says that she may say that she had a menorrheic for eight to eight to two weeks, three weeks, and then she had a pregnancy test done. And then with that, you ask um what are what is the advice of your consultant or your doctor and what are the medications that has been given to you and if there are any tests that has been done and what are the results. And also ask is where is that institution? It's also important. And then after that, you proceed to your second. So, um, in their second prenatal checkup, again, um, repeat those questions. And the symptoms, the um, institution, date of um, the diagnostic laboratory test, then, and any other symptoms that she feel, that she felt. And then on the third, and then on the fourth. Until, so from your past to present, on what are the symptoms that she is feeling. So, for example, um, if she feels any bleeding, ask for also for the amount, um, frequency, and when it did it start, and when did it stop? Did she take any you know, any medications? So if there, if it's example, if it's hypogastric pain that is, she is complaining, ask for the uh, intensity, the duration, and the amount, and, and also if there's any uh, medication that she take and any aggravating factors and any other associated symptoms like headache, nausea, and vomiting alongside with those symptoms. So that is for your history of present pregnancy. Then for that, you can now proceed to your menstrual history. So for for you to be more easy. So ask, mommy, I know um, when is your last menstruation? Or for the men last menstrual period, ask for her last menstrual period. For that, you can compute for your age of gestation and the estimated date of delivery. Okay. So after that, first you ask, Mommy, I know wh when did you start first menstru your menstruation? When is your menarch? And then also ask if she, the patient is already menopause. And then after the menarch, you ask for the, in the intensity or the interval. So from that, you can ask the, from the last menstrual period, you ask for the past menstrual period, meaning you can know if the patient is regularly menstruating or how many days from the, last, from the past menstrual period is her last menstrual period. So she will answer with 25 days, 28 days, or 30 days. And after that is the duration, is how many days is she having, is she menstruating? 3 to 5 days, 4 to 5 days, and after that, the amount, how many pads, she um, you can she use is it two to three and it's so is it three to five or it is in moderately so lightly so heavily so and then last for the symptoms like this menor ask for the um, symptoms while having menstruation like dysmenorrhea diarrhea sweating and headache so those and then after that proceed to your OB history for the OB history you ask how many pregnancies have you had so she may say that it is her first pregnancy. 
So, if it's her first pregnancy, oh, uh, or if, sorry, if she says it's her second pregnancy, so ask for the details on her first pregnancy. So, what are the details that you're going to ask? The year delivered, the age of gestation, if it's full term, pre term, and that what's the gender of the baby, the manner of delivery, is it normal vaginal spontaneous delivery, is it cesarean section, or is it abortion? The birth weight of the baby is it 3.5 kilos, 2.5. And then the place of delivery is it more than is it in the hospital, is it lying in? And if there's any complication, did she uh, had a eclampsia or preeclampsia, hypertension, diabetes? So all those, all, all, all those like, all the likes. And then after that, you you finished your um, HPP, you finished your um, OB history, menstrual history. You can proceed now to your past medical history. So you ask, ma'am, do you have any um, complications like diabetes, hypertension, cough, asthma, thyroid problems, cancer, seizures, sexually transmitted disease? And did you have any hospitalizations, operations done in the past, blood transfusion? Do you have any uh, allergies on food? And history of exposure to diethylsilbestrol? And then after that, you note for the family history. Ma'am, do you have a uh, family history of on your mother, on your father's side, or in your brothers or sisters? Again, for diabetes, hypertension, asthma, pulmonary disease, cardiac disease, tuberculosis, cancer, tumors, sexual disabilities, and the like. Okay? Then after that, you can now proceed for the personal and social history. So for that history, you ask for the occupation of, of the patient. Um, Ma'am, are you a housewife? What is your work? And how many um, years have you been working? And also the educational attainment of the of the patient. And then if married, if the patient is already married, ask how many years have she been married and what is the work of her husband. And then also ask if the patient is smoking, how many cigarettes per day. And then uh, if the patient is alcoholic, how many um, bottles can she drink and how she can, she can consume if it's um, occasional, moderate, and, and also ask if she uses uh, uh, drugs. And then, then you proceed for the sexual and gynecologic history, and then ask for a sensitive question, mommy. I know when is uh, what age is your first coitus or your sexual intercourse, and then ask how many sexual partners in the past and current did she have. And did she use um, oral contraceptive pills? Did she use barriers or condoms? That is also important. And ask if there's any associated dyspareunia or painful sexual intercourse, a vaginal discharge, and vaginal pruritus, or any postcoital bleeding, or any bleeding after the sexual intercourse. And also ask if there, she had any pap smear done and if she have a result. And then, after that, is now um, we proceed for the review of systems. So check for the overall um, um, general well-being of the patient. So for the review of systems, we check if she had any fever, seizures, um, and skin, if she had sores, itching, dryness, and for the HEENT, if she had eye pain, redness, hearing loss, vertigo, ear discharge, breathing gums, and in her cardiac, if she had any palpation, chest pain, and in lungs and thorax, if she had any cough, difficulty of breathing, hemoptysis, in GIT, if she had polyphagia, constipation, diarrhea, nausea and vomiting, for urinary, polyuria, frequency of urination, oliguria, diuria, hematuria, endocrine, polydipsia, and or cold intolerance, and in neurology, if she feels any numbness or vertigo. So that's also also ask if she had any questions and entertain it and then also thank the patient. Thank you so much for that's all.